Usually when we share some Torah thoughts together, I like to present you with an insight or an answer. But today I'd like to present you with a question. We have in the parasha of Lech Lecha that Avram and Sarai, who will later become Avram and Sarah, go down to the land of Egypt because of the famine in the land of Canaan. And on the way there, Avram says to Sarai that he knows that she's a very beautiful woman. And he's afraid that the Egyptians will be conscious of her beauty and as a result will kill him as her husband and take her as their wife. So it's, uh, you get a picture of the very uh, brutal and expedient society into which they were entering. And Avram was gen genuinely concerned about this and about the consequences. Therefore, his request to her was that she pretends to be his sister. If he's her husband, then he stands as a rival to all of the other men who want to marry her. But if he's her brother, then he stands as the gatekeeper. Then he's somebody uh, who they too must, so to speak, woo in order to get to her. And so therefore he'll be in a position of safety rather than being threatened. Now, ever there is an extra couple of words that Avram adds that throw a cloud of confusion over the entire matter. And that is, Avram says to her, um, Imri nachotiat, please say you are my sister, Laman yitavli vavurech, in order that it will be good for me because of you, v'chaita nafshi biglaleich, and my life will be spared because of you. So we understand that he's asking her to do this in order to save his life. But what on earth does he mean when he says, in order that it will be good for me? It's not just that my life will be saved, but it will be good for me in some way. So Rashi picks this up and quoting the Midrash says, what he means is that they will give me gifts. It will be good for me because they will give me gifts in order to woo you. So that is the good thing. That's the favor that you will be doing me by uh, identifying yourself as my sister. Now this is incredibly difficult on a number of levels. Firstly, this seems to be completely dishonest. Avram seems to be trying to extort gifts out of people on false premises, pretending that his wife Sarai is available for marriage and that if they bring nice presents, maybe she will consider a proposal, when in fact that is the farthest thing from the truth. It's complete falsehood. Secondly, even if we had that falsehood out of the way, uh, the Torah is opposed to a person seeking gifts. In fact, even if gifts are offered, it's not ideal always to accept them. You have to look at the situation. But we uh, are opposed certainly to seeking, requesting gifts. And even if the uh, gifts are on offer, one should think at least twice. The third question is that this is inconsistent with Avram himself. We find that Avram throughout the Torah is not a person who seeks gifts. He is a person who gives, not a person who takes. And when he rescues the people of Storm, later on in the same parasha, and the king of Storm requests all of the people, but offers Avram all of the money, Avram refuses. He says, I do not want a thread or a shoelace. I want nothing. I don't want to take anything. And yet here, he seems to be implying that he is desirous of taking. So my friends, this is the question. I understand why Avram is forced to play this ruse in order to save his own life. But why on earth would he motivate this action by the goodness that they will do to him, by the gifts that they will give him? I've seen many answers. Personally, I haven't found them to be satisfying. Whether they are, some of them say he will introduce, she will introduce him as his poor brother as a pretext so they'll give him gifts, but the poverty will serve the role of concealing the fact that they're making a point of identifying them. That was probably, I said it probably a little bit too complicated. Uh, others say that he wants particularly for her to be entranced, uh, for, for the nobleman to be entranced with her, and they're the ones who will give gifts. So he's identifying which element of society he wants to be attracted to because those are the ones who will protect her. There are others who say that he wanted to fulfill the promise of Hashem, that Hashem will make him wealthy, why he couldn't make him wealthy in a more kosher way. Uh, those commentaries don't explain. And so you have these, even one that says that he was doing it like as a bribe to Sarah, that he thought maybe she wouldn't want to agree with this, but maybe he would, uh, he would sweeten the deal and put something in for her. I have not seen a satisfactory answer to the question, and sometimes the question is better than the answer. If you have an answer, 
I would be very, very glad to have it. So the question, why does Avram motivate the deceit, the necessary deceit of Sarah being his sister by saying the goodness that they will do to him have a wonderful Shabbat.